way to go. We've made it one third of the way through statics. We're on exam one. This is your review, your review summary for exam one. What's going to be on that first test? Okay. Now, of course, this little review is based on, I use the Hibbler book in my class, Hibbler Statics. And so if you use a different book, it might be slightly different, but generally this is pretty good for test one. Okay. So if we remember back from this, uh, from the Hibbler book or from any of the t statics books, chapter two was where st statics really started. Chapter one was just over like Newton's three laws, kind of an introduction to statics. There was no problems in that chapter. And chapter two is where we really started uh, getting into some statics. And we started talking about here, uh, vector addition. Okay. And in particular, what I want you to focus on this is really the 3D stuff. You know, in 2D, we had the triangle rule where you did tip the tail and we added the vectors with Cartesian form. But really about what you should be studying is something like this. The 3D vectors. Okay. In adding 3D vectors, there were three ways to do that. Do you remember? Number one, the blue triangle equations. Okay, number two was our directional cosines. And number three was the lambda hat or the unit vector, um, let's just call it with coordinates. Okay, use coordinates to solve those uh, problems. And then what if I gave you one that had all three different kinds of vectors in it and ask you to add them together? Uh, and then maybe find the directional cosine angles of the resultant vector. Could you do it, right? We have to remember that. We need to remember that other little trick, right, uh, for directional cosines. That other little trick was, um, let's see, cosine squared, I'll put it this way, alpha plus cosine squared beta plus cosine squared gamma was equal to one, right? That little trick. So if they only gave me two of those, then I could come up with the third one. That was a little um, trick that you need to be able to do. So you need to review these videos and you need to be able to come up with those equations. You don't get an equation sheet on the exam. You need to know those. And more importantly, you need to know how to use them. For this one, and this one's important, I would go back to that video I made that's called like blue triangle uh, drill problems, right? And I just gave you like problem after problem after problem, I think I gave you eight of them, identifying those angles that, you, that are used here so that when I test, you're like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what it is, okay? So that's, uh, if you go over and review those videos, you should do good on this. All right, next was chapter three. And chapter three was, what was chapter three? Chapter three was, ah, equilibrium of a particle, okay? And if I had to say what's going to be on the test from chapter three, there's two things, right? You can divide uh, chapter three into two parts, 2D parts and 3D problems, okay? 2D problems and 3D problems. The 2D problems, pretty much every problem is going to look like this, okay? Yeah, maybe at a different angle or whatever, but it's going to be like there's a particle and there's some forces acting on it, right? I know this one and I got to find that one and that one, right? Um, things to watch out for here were those, were those uh, max value, like the, the tension max in any cable, right, is 100 pounds. So be sure to remember that if you have to substitute for the maximum tension in one of those problems, you can only substitute one of those cables at a time, just one at a time. Don't do more than one or you'll mess it up, okay? And then 3D problems, right? And this one has, the, in 2D, we only had the sum of the forces in the X and the sum of the forces in the Y, okay? That's it. Uh, and it's equilibrium, so these guys would have been set to zero, right? And then in 3D, uh, that's when we had, we have three equations for forces, oh, X. Where's X? I'm doing them out of order because my brain quit working. Does your brain ever just quit working? Mine does quite often, okay? So in 3D, I had three equations. So you remember this, we wrote, first you write all the vectors in vector form, in I, J, K form. And then once you have all the vectors written in that form, then build your equations of equilibrium. 
right? And then once you have your equations of equilibrium, right, these guys here, you can use your system solver to solve that three by three um, set of equations. So that was chapter three. And then the test will also incl include most of chapter four up to the equivalent system problems. We haven't talked about those yet, okay? So chapter four, okay, which is uh, equilibrium of rigid bodies, okay? So in chapter four, we, that's where we introduced moments to you. And again, just like chapter three, I could break down into 2D and 3D, you get this. You get a 2D moment problem, which I would recommend you use. The moment about some point is equal to force times distance. I like that. Remember the distance has to be the perpendicular distance. And then in 3D, you'll have a 3D moment problem on there, okay? In 3D, I'd say, let's do this, R cross F, okay? So in 3D, I like you to put it into a, an R cross F, do the matrix on that, but in 2D, uh, F times D. So what's coming up? I have five exam review videos that are gonna be kind of similar to the test questions. There'll be one on this, two from here, and two from there. So watch the next five videos and, and not just watch them, work them with me and let's get ready and let's ace this test, y'all. Okay, here it comes.